The Dusrock Blues is one of the most dominant PvP primary shotguns inside of Destiny 2. So, how do you get it, and what is the god roll? Firstly, the weapon drops from the Menagerie in both regular and heroic difficulty after slotting in blue runes in slot 1 and 2, and a rune of your choice in slot 3. Slot 3 determines the masterwork, green is range, blue is stability, red is reload, and purple is handling. For the Dustrock, you preferably want handling or a range masterwork. The Menagerie itself should take you around 10 minutes with a competent fire team, although this may vary depending on the modifiers and difficulty of the activity. Standard Menagerie should be just fine and you won't need to worry too much about finding a fire team. The Dustrock itself intrinsically is a precision frame. This basically means the recoil is more vertical and more easy to control. This means quite a bit on console, but on PC, you don't have to worry too much. It's no secret that there is other shotguns available that can easily compete with the Dustrock. An example of this would be the Mindbenders, so let's see how the Mindbenders stacks up against the Dustrock. So, as you can see, on paper, the Dustrock is actually better than the Mindbenders, having better stats in every single category apart from impact. But you have got to remember, the Dust Rock goes in the primary slot and the Mindbenders in the secondary slot. This means if you're using something like a Beloved, you'll need a primary shotgun. And if you're using something like a Supremacy, you'll need a secondary shotgun. So both of these weapons have their uses depending on your loadout. Right then, let's get into the perks. So this table just here shows you everything you can get on the Dust Rock. I'm going to start by removing some of the less desirable perks. So in column one, we have rifled barrel, which gives you plus 10 range and minus 15 handling. We also have full choke, which tightens the spread of the pellets when aiming down sights. In column two, I'm leaning towards accurized rounds as it gives you a flat plus 10 range. In column three, we have moving target, threat detector and slide shot, all fantastic perks, but I'm leaning towards threat detector. In column 4 we have Rampage which increases your damage after getting a kill. This is a really good perk on a shotgun but also you can roll with something like Snapshot which gives you increased aim down side speed. All of the perks on screen are great but here are my two god rolls. My PvP range build takes advantage of the synergy between Accurized Rounds, Snapshot Sights and Full Choke allowing you to get one shot kills at ridiculous ranges also with a ranged masterwork on top there. Next, for my Rampage build, I have put Assault Mag and Threat Detector on to have an increased rate of fire, and also with a Handling masterwork on top. Right, that is my complete guide on the Destroc Blues. Thank you for watching, and also thank you for all the support I've been having recently.